In our previous videos, I mentioned that aspirin is not a medication that can be used routinely and that aspirin, although it may seem like a snack on its own, has some risks. So who should use aspirin? Without a doubt, as a cardiologist, I frequently prefer and prescribe aspirin as a specialist in heart and vascular diseases. Aspirin is one of the most commonly used medications since the 1850s, which we really require. Who is the intended audience for the use of aspirin in this video? Aspirin began to be extensively utilized in the medical field following the 1850s. There are hundreds of thousands of studies done on aspirin. There are millions of conducted meta-analysis studies. So it is one of the drugs that have been tested, tried on millions of patients, proven reliable, and we know its benefits and side effects clearly. However, the guidelines have recently given clarification on who should use aspirin. 1. Next, heart and vascular patients. Heart and vascular diseases include stents in bypass and plaques in heart arteries. Even if there are no complaints of any blocked veins that are scattered in the heart vessels and the vein is blocked at any time, aspirin should still be used. In any heart vessel, a stent is usually placed and aspirin should be used for a lifetime or if a person has had a bypass due to heart and vascular disease, they should still use aspirin for life. If only a problem related to the stomach has developed with aspirin, then we can switch to the medication called clopidogrel. But if there is any narrowing in the heart vessels, if there is a history of stent or bypass, if the person has had a heart attack or has been diagnosed with angina, aspirin should be used. Secondly, those with stroke and carotid artery disease if someone had a stroke, they usually take aspirin for life. If stroke recurs under aspirin, another medication may be preferred instead of aspirin. Usually treatment starts with aspirin. If there is plaque in the main artery, aspirin should still be used in these cases due to the risk of clotting to the brain from plaque rupture. So if a person has had a stroke at any stage of their life, if they have had an ischemic stroke or a narrowing in the carotid artery, these individuals should use aspirin. 3. Next comes leg artery blockage. Those with blockages in leg veins, those with severe complaints in their legs while walking due to blockage in leg veins, those who have balloons placed in their leg veins, or those who have any loss of flow in their leg veins, according to ultrasound examination, should also use aspirin. Aspirin is the most commonly used medication in the treatment of vascular diseases that develop on atherosclerotic ground, and we often prefer aspirin in such cases. In fourth, blockage of arteries that feed organs. For instance, there may be narrowing in the baby's blood vessels. For instance, narrowing of vessels that nourish intestines. Aspirin is also used in such cases. Aspirin is typically used lifelong in patients with plaque formation on atherosclerotic ground and developed vascular stenosis. Five, next, heart valve replacement candidates arrive. Must give crucial info to them. If a metal cover is placed on the heart valve, if the cover surgery is performed by placing a metal cover, the drugs used here are not aspirin but warfarin, vafmadine, comidine, etc. However, if a bioprosthesis is implanted, typically the patient will need to continue lifelong treatment with aspirin. Sir, I have chest tightness. Should I take aspirin? No, aspirin is not for these situations. Add lifelong treatment only in patients with a biological valve implanted. 6. If there is a hole in the heart or between the blood vessels and this hole is closed, if the umbrella method is used, in such cases, lifelong aspirin treatment is generally started. If there is any foreign material that is left behind in the heart following an interventional cardiology procedure, it has the potential to be an umbrella or any other type of device. In these cases, we want your blood more diluted and add aspirin to the treatment. As you can see, indications for aspirin are clear. We don't give aspirin. Sir, I had tightness in my chest. Should I use aspirin? No. Should I use aspirin for my mild rhythm disorder, doctor? No. If only ablation is performed on the rhythm disorder, we can give aspirin in some cases, but not routinely. Sir, I smoke. Should I use aspirin every other day, once every three days, or one, two times weekly? No, if there is no diagnosis, if the diagnosis of cardiovascular diseases has not been made, or if you do not have any of the substances I mentioned earlier, 
we do not use aspirin routinely. Aspirin is not a cookie. It is a medication that carries a risk of bleeding at an annual rate of 0.2%. Based solely on the principle of cost-benefit, if the benefit outweighs, we add aspirin to the treatment. Doctor, I'm over 65. Should I use aspirin? If no angiogram, no coronary artery disease, peripheral artery disease, leg artery blockage, or any of the mentioned conditions, if no diagnosis, aspirin not added to treatment. Aspirin should not be used without consulting a doctor. It should not be discontinued without permission from a doctor when used. Aspirin is not a cookie, one of the most commonly used and well-known blood thinners worldwide. Yes, we generally see it as the most reliable blood thinner, but it does have some side effects. Aspirin is a medication used as needed, started as needed, and usually continued for a lifetime when started. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Bye.